you don't understand where you came from, you will not understand where you're going to. Appleton's been in the forefront of innovation for a long time. We had the first telephone system. We had the first electric trolley system. You had a whole group of dreamers. The sky was the limit. Welcome to Hearthstone. Hi. Yeah. Thank you. And welcome back to Appleton. Thank you. It's Thank nice you. to be here. Who built this house? A man by the name of Henry Rogers. And there's a first about this house. Why is it such a special place? It was the first hydroelectrically lit house in the world. This was something that was never done before. This one was generator driven from the river. This house was lit and his factory was lit in September of 1882. They built the Vulcan Central Hydro Station. It's actually the first hydroelectric central station in the world. To have the foresight for these people to, to dream this. Right, it's amazing. Did the invention of hydroelectric power really make it possible to run paper mills for longer periods of time, even in the dark days of winter? Oh, yes. Henry Rogers realized that if he could turn night into day, he could keep that plant running 24-7. You think that most people who grow up in Appleton, Wisconsin, know that they are living in a place that was really at the center of innovation around the use of hydroelectric power? Mm, they, a lot of them don't have a clue. What can technology do for people's lives today? Technology gives you the ammunition to go a little bit further. So you keep looking forward to the new light bulb, to the new machine. Now part of this is a story about partnership. Yes, the partnership between Henry Rogers and Thomas Edison to use the power of this river to light a home and turn night into day. And here we have a new partnership between Microsoft and the Green Bay Packers coming together in Titletown Tech, hopefully fueling innovation for a whole new generation of people who grow up here. Titletown, very unique, uh, I think, across the country. 45 acres adjacent to Lambeau Field, but it's not your typical development. Today, with the announcement of Titletown Tech, we're adding the word create to that list of, uh, of, of activities that we really want to foster in Titletown. The Accelerator Program and the Innovation Lab are really two separate and distinct approaches to innovation and new enterprise creation. That first process, the Accelerator, really starts with the product in mind and then it develops the, uh, the market. The second approach, the Innovation Lab, starts by identifying the market and then you develop the product. So you're kind of really attacking the issue from both ends. Green Bay was at a big disadvantage in terms of the number of college graduates in the area. We looked at it and said, you know, we can make a difference. With Titletown, we can create something that our college graduates are going to want to stay here uh, in the community. It's going to draw college graduates from other parts of the country. And, you know, I think now with having Titletown Tech and the opportunity to create uh, thriving uh, businesses to come here in the community, I, I think this has a chance to really transform the Green Bay community for years to come. How'd it feel being back here today? It was really interesting for me to come back to the place I grew up and learn about things that, frankly, I never heard about growing up. It's hard to believe that there was a home down the river electrified nine years before the White House. This history of innovation, people coming together from unexpected places, recognizing they have something in common and they can bring innovation to life. What do you think we can learn from Henry Rogers? If he had a dream, he followed his dream. You know, and he built something grand. Thank you.